let's try not to screw up all down the abyss this time. Alright, well, we got the army losses though. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Welcome to Dan Plays PC Games, I'm Dan. So here's an update on the graphics settings in Total War Warhammer 3 following the release of Patch 2.0. I had mentioned in my last video that uh, the VFX detail on high had a very heavy impact on frames per second on my rig during the casting of spells, uh, really cutting them all the way in half from uh, 60 plus frames a second down to the 30s, and it was pretty, pretty bad. But I noted in that video that there was really no reason why they shouldn't be able to perform some optimizations and get that running better and in fact they did so i'm going to jump here and just show you the part where the spells are being cast and we'll see the difference in the uh the visuals so let's jump in uh these i think are just about the same settings that i had last time Okay, so the VFX are going to start right now. In the past, you'd already see a little bit of a slowdown here at this point, um, but you can see here things are running at a nice 60 frames even. Now, there is a little bit of RNG. I'm not really sure what's causing it, but every now and then um, there's more severe frame drops uh, during Kataran spell casting than in others. So it is kind of random, but I'm hoping we're going to get a good example here uh, where there's a very minimal impact, if any. Alright, you can see there with Scarbrand, it did fall into the 50s though, so I think this is not a good run. Yeah, no, we're dropping down into the 40s, 50s, 40s. But still, uh, significant improvement over uh, where we were previously, which was down in the 30s. A uh, little dip into the 30s there as we panned across. And there you have it. So we had a minimum frame rate, it, this thing says around 40. Uh, so that's pretty good, and there is an impact, certainly, but it's much, much less than it used to be. However, of course, this isn't good enough for me. I want the game to run really nice and smoothly and not have drops down to those kinds of frames. And because of that, I'll be running the VFX detail on medium at which point things will run much more smoothly. So that's the first point is, uh, yes, they improve the performance of VFX detail high. However, I'm still gonna run medium and frankly, it looks really good. I'm not sure that I love those little skulls and the little stars and the spells anyway. I think it looks kind of cooler with just, you know, the base effects. So uh, the next thing that I'd like to talk about is um, anti-aliasing. So I've played around with the different types of anti-aliasing. And there's a little bit of dovetail here that when I was doing TAA and TAA high, I was seeing some interaction with this VFX detail on high where uh, it was actually a lot slower um, panning across there. And then the other problem is that just no matter which ones of these that, uh, that we use, I just think it looks really, um, it just looks too blurry and I, I, don't like, I don't like the way that it looks. Um, I just I just don't like the way that Warhammer 3 looks compared to Warhammer 2 where everything was nice and crisp and clean. So what I've done to address that is to turn anti-aliasing off and then to do the anti-aliasing through the NVIDIA control panel. So we're going to do that. Um, let me see. I'm going to try lighting on high just to see if it looks any better uh, and see if we could get some good settings or if we need to turn that down. Um, so we're going to do that. And the other thing we're doing is I'm now doing VSync from the NVIDIA control panel rather than doing it in here. So essentially anything that we can do from the control panel rather than in here seems to work uh, a little bit better. So I don't know. Let's toggle back out to the control panel. All right, so here's the control panel. And uh, these are the th settings just for Warhammer 3. So uh, we're going to aim, we're going to add some sharpening. I'm going to do it at 15 and uh, ignore fill grain at uh, 16, I don't know, whatever. But really the main thing is uh, to add some sharpening. And then for anisotropic filtering, um, oh no, so we have that already in game, that's fine. We'll just use application controlled. Although I wonder if it's better, I wonder if it's better if I do it from here and then turn it off there. Let's give it a shot. And we're gonna turn on FXAA and the anti-aliasing mode uh is going to be to override right we want to override whatever it's doing and i think we can get away with doing 8x right that should look pretty good as well uh i don't know about all this stuff background application max frame rate we could put something in there to limit 
other stuff going on, but I think it's okay. Uh, and then I think what we'll do here is put the max frame rate at uh, 60 frames a second. There we go. And then that should basically do, uh, or should we use VSync instead? Yeah, sorry. Let's go back to global settings here. And I'm just going to put uh, vertical sync on. There we go. All right, so I think we'll do these things. And of course, we need to hit apply. Hey, we're back in the game. We've got anti-aliasing off. Um, two things I'm trying, which I didn't do in my previous run, is to have unlimited video memory checked on and lighting quality on high. This could have some impact, but let's see how it looks. Ah, uh, no, way too slow. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, so... <laughs> let's see. One thing I need to remember is... Hang on... All right, so definitely lighting on high was uh, no good. I'm going to turn that back down. And here we are in the game, and I just think that um, turning off the in-game anti-aliasing makes things that are further away in the background look a lot sharper. Now, the trees still aren't perfect, but it's generally much better, I think. They did, as you can see here, fix uh, the colorations on Scarbrand when they put these effects on. That was kind of a weird thing in the previous benchmark in, uh, I think it was Go running nice and smooth. So yeah, I really don't. I still think they can do some further improvement on that. I'm not sure why it slows down so much though. And in some cases, again, there seemed to be some uh, randomness to it. In some cases, it was really, really uh, very minimal impact. Well, these are the graphic settings that I'm using. Shadows on high because otherwise they look like blobs and they don't look like the units. 1440 and. Um, VFX detail on medium. So far in my runs on the campaign, it's been nice and smooth, and we can see here in the benchmark, it is uh, pretty much just a smooth 59 to 60 frames per second. So I hope you found this helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.